$2,000 is so much money for a dress. No, you could have said no. I can't take on the responsibilities. Yeah. You have a mouth, you can communicate. Oh, Coops, do you think you are a generous friend? I am, I am now. I used to be very stingy. I don't think I'm a particularly generous, generous friend. I'm pretty <laughs> selfish. What's mine is yours, unless you're stingy. And then, then it's not. get out. Today we're playing Who Should Pay Friend Edition. So here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna get uh, a bunch of props, um, and then we have to decide if they pay, you pay, or we split it. You're going on a Saturday adventure with some friends. You stop and get coffee. You get a parking ticket. It's your car, but a friend is driving. Who should pay? Wow. Yeah, I said both because I'm like, I probably would pay if it were me just because I'd feel like we were all there together. We all stopped yeah. together. But also if they offered to pay, I'd be like, thank you. They should pay. They parked. They were in charge of the car. They decided where to park and they got a parking ticket. They should absolutely pay. If you're in the back seat and your friend's driving, you're not responsible to look at the parking signs and stuff. I reckon you actually are. Everyone should be checking, like, are you allowed to park there? Um, and if you guys collectively fucked up, then you should collectively split that parking fine. You're the dumb bitch friend who lets someone park in the car and doesn't check the, the sign. Like, you pay, yeah. right? Yeah. Because you're dumb. But if they were driving and insisted on parking in yes. that spot because, oh, they'll be fine. There's no parking yeah, offices, it's fine, whatever. Dude. I park here all the time. Like, it's yeah, fine. they oh, pay. But... Yes. If like you're both blissfully unaware, you split it. Yeah, you split it, you cry together, and then your friendship is stronger for it. Someone should notice if you shouldn't if you're not allowed to park there. You know who should notice? The driver. Because they are the one driving the car. They are the ones who should notice what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> it's your birthday, you have invited a bunch of friends out to a bougie dinner. Who should pay? Love a bougie dinner. Three, two, one. Shoo! Ooh. Oh! It depends, right? Like, I was always of the impression when I would go out with friends, if I invited them out somewhere, that we would all just split things evenly. But with like my partner and our sort of like newfound group of friends, it's very much, uh, if it's your birthday, you do not pay a cent. Obviously, like, the cute thing to do is to say, like, oh, well, I'll split it, <laughs> and take out your wallet. But really, if they're good friends, they pay. What? You don't pay. You don't pay. Dang. It's your birthday. See, I'm thinking of it more of like maybe like a host perspective. It's kind of like if you had a birthday party, you wouldn't expect people to pay to come to your birthday party or pay for dinner. Your friend is a bride and wants you to pay for the bridesmaid dresses, but they are $2,000 and you've just been made redundant. Who should pay? I don't know what the normal protocol is for white weddings. Like, uh, normally do you pay for your own dress? White weddings, I think, are like whatever you want to do. Why are you having a wedding if you can't and you want two grand dresses? I'm a bridesmaid at the moment for my friend, or I'm gonna be. And if she did this to me, I'd be like, we used to shop at Soup Pray together. Like, don't come at me with this $2,000 dress. I'm sorry. Like, that is not a fair thing to ask of any friend, regardless of what situation they're in financially. My instinct says, like, if you're my bridesmaid and that's my thing, fork out the money. But like you so knew this was coming. Expensive. You could have said no. No, you could have said no. I can't take on the responsibilities. Yeah. You have a mouth, you can communicate. $2,000 is so much money for a dress. You didn't sign up to pay two grand for a dress. You might wear like twice if you're lucky. They really should be like, this is my vision for my wedding. I want these dresses. So therefore I'll fork it out for you. Your friend invites you over to watch a movie. They have takeaway food waiting for you when you arrive, but haven't told you. Who should pay? Yes. Yeah. What if they order something you don't even like? Oh, wow. Ah. Okay, well, it's very different. 100% they should be paying for that. You would probably offer like, oh, can I give you money? But the correct answer from them should be, no, 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 don't worry, I got it. I would offer to pay. Like if I get there and they're hosting the night and they're like, I ordered, you know, Thai food, we're all gonna eat. I'll be like, beam request me. Like, let me pay for my food. I would pay, but I'd be like kind of annoyed. If you're expecting someone to pay or to contribute, like they need to be a part of that decision-making process. It's almost disrespectful to just, mm. like don't assume what kind of food I want to have yeah. on my movie night. Don't assume. You don't have your license. You go out for drinks with a friend who drives you everywhere. Who should pay? First of all, 
what's wrong with you? Where's your license? Are you an adult? Lol. So this is coming from me who doesn't have their driver's license and I literally get driven everywhere by my friends. Shout out to my friends with licenses. I don't think I've ever paid for my friend's drink when we're out because they drive me everywhere, but I will always beam them for petrol. You should pay, you should at least get them a drink or chip in for petrol money. The least I could do is pay someone for the times that they cart me around. Like they're, it's kind of like your Uber fee for them. My policy is you don't owe anybody shit. It would be a nice <laughs> thing to do. Like obviously like shout them here and then, but if you're expecting that from me. So did you, did you even make a you pay card? Or is everyone no. gonna pay for your stuff through the whole thing? No, everyone's paying for me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be cheap and useless. Like you can be cheap or useless, but you can never be both <laughs> at the same time. Your fave musician has a show on the weekend. You're unaware, but your friend buys tickets for the both of you as a surprise. Who should pay? I think you should split it. I reckon split it because I would be so stoked at the surprise. Yeah. I would be like, thank you so much for handling the ticket buying because ticket buying is a stressful bloody task. Like split it's your it. fave, it's your fave. Yeah. You gotta split it. What if they bought you tickets and like you just bought the new iPhone or something like that and like, you just can't afford to go to any concerts right now, even if it is your favorite band. Then I'd be like, I can't afford to pay you right now, but I'll pay you next month after I get paid. I'm gonna go with they pay, purely because like, if it's a surprise, you weren't aware of it, I guess it's kind of like a gift, but I definitely still think that you should at least offer. But you know, if they're taking me to Beyonce, you know, and it's like 300 bucks a pop, wearing VIP, like I'm hugging Beyonce and covered in her sweat, like, you know, you should probably pay for your portion of that experience. You throw your sunnies on the bed after getting home. Your friend comes in and jumps in the bed, breaking your sunnies. Who should pay? What? So this is what- Really? I, yeah, this is what I reckon. So it's your, I mean, yeah, it's your room and your sunnies. And so you threw them on the bed, which shouldn't be a place where you put your sunglasses because you're going on the bed and stuff. And you throwing it on the bed, them not seeing it, them jumping on it, it's like, ah, oh, shit, I have put my thing in harm's way and it's now gotten broken. I sort of feel like you're personally responsible for that. Nah, I disagree, they should pay, they <laughs> broke it. It's on your bed, it's in your room. Like, of course your shit's gonna be everywhere. I'm perfectly capable of sitting on my own sunglasses. I don't need any of my friends to help me. <laughs> you're in a shout of drinks and your mate wants to leave early before the next shout, who should pay? Oh my God, that's sneaky. I hate friends like that. This one gets me so riled up because it's already difficult enough navigating. Like people wanting to do rounds, as soon as somebody's like, let's do rounds. I'm like, ah, unless I'm really drunk already, in which case I'm like, you get an espresso yeah. martini. You get an espresso martini. I mean, come on. You pay it out. You gotta do it. Wouldn't you feel yeah. awful for not doing that? Even if yeah. you buy it for everyone else and you don't buy it for yourself because you're done, just, yeah. Shout everyone the drinks that they shouted you and then bounce. If you're buying rounds for people and you're like the first one to maybe even third person to go up, like, I'm sorry, but you've just offered to pay more than everybody else. I don't think it's fair. I don't think it's right, but I think that's what happens. So what you're gonna do about it? You're at a picnic and everyone's alcohol runs out. You ask your mate if you can have a glass of their wine and they agree, but then they beam request you later. You thought it was a shout. That is just shit, first of all. They they should pay. Like it's I'm asking for a glass of wine, I'm not asking for a full bottle. You pay. You pay. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's tricky. That's so weird though. It's tricky because it's like, just a lack of communication. One glass of wine. I if they did that to me, I'd throw my phone out the way I reckon. That's so why? Honestly. I think it's a bit of an orky situation, but I think that you should just pay for it because it's not worth the conflict in the friendship. You're road tripping home with friends after a weekend away. You need to be home by dinner, but are running late. You tell your friends and the designated driver goes fast. So you make it home on time, but they get a speeding ticket. Who should pay? You pay. Oh, split it. So I was actually gonna say they pay because part of me is like, no one asked you to speed. No, yeah. they pay. I'm a total goody two shoes when it comes to driving. I was like, not to brag, but I was like a prefect in school. And I just think if you are speeding, 
You're putting other people in danger and I'm not gonna pay for your recklessness. This is a hard one. I'm conflicted over you should pay and just split it. Um, the reason being, I mean, you're the person that's made them speed. See, I'm imagining this person being like, hey, I need to get home, I've got a big family thing. Can you get home and they're like, okay. And they like start speeding. I think you should cover it because they did you a favor. Nah, I'm sorry they should pay. Like, while I appreciate that, oh, you know, I've told my friend that we're running late and we need to be, I need to be there sooner. I'm not the one forcing that leg down on the speeding pedal. They're the ones in control of the car. I'm not going to be held responsible for them breaking the law. They is a bloody tricky, are they? They're a little bit, ooh. It's all about like, yeah, communicating. You don't want to be like a dickhead who like stuffs something up and then it's like, doesn't say anything or whatever. Don't be stingy. You don't want to be the person that rips everyone off. Like, people remember that.